Hi dancers, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to get a safer and better air mask and some exercises to avoid and what to do instead. But before we get started, make sure you hit the button below and subscribe to my channel. So with arabesque, we wanna make sure that we're not putting excess pressure on our low back. We have to have an adequate balance between the mobility of our spine and also the strength in our lower legs and our spinal extensors and core. So a lot of things that happen in the dance world is that a lot of teachers will endorse stretching of the hip flexors and working on stretching exercises with bands that are highly manipulative and also put a lot of stress on the low back. We want to avoid stuff like this and we want to focus more on the mobility and strength side of training your arabesque. I'm going to show you an exercise that's actually a great exercise but it can be done wrong and then it can actually hurt your low back. So arabesque pulses, they're a great exercise when done correctly, but terrible when done incorrectly. And I've seen teachers at studios have their students stand in tendu back, lifting the arm up, and then telling these students to lift their leg without moving their spine and really working their leg. The problem with this is, is that your pelvis does have to move forward in space so that you can stop putting so much pressure on your low back. Otherwise, you get students who do this kind of thing and they try to lift the leg with the back and they feel most of the pressure from the exercise in this region when you should be feeling the exercise in the glutes and hamstrings, not in the low back. And I understand teachers ideas here where you want the back to be tall, right? We don't want to enforce the dump over of the arabesque. However, there are other exercises that you can train these separately, safer, and then bring them together once your students fully understand how to hold their spine and where to activate. So the alternative for the exercise I like to do is I like to have students first find their spine in neutral in a flat back position. So holding the core in neutral, taking the leg up behind you, and then holding it here with both hip bones rotated down. And now I'm gonna have my students squeeze in their glutes and hamstrings and really focus on lifting up and pulsing in this position. You can do this with your legs parallel, which will fire different muscles and it will really help with cross training. You can also teach your students to do this with a turned out and pointed foot, which is going to be more transferable than to your arabesque. You just want to make sure that you're instructing the student to not load in their low back and really hold their core in neutral here so that they're focusing on the lower leg activation for arabesque. The next thing we want to work on is getting that student to lift up in their upper spine and extend through their thoracic and not overload their lumbar. So let's look at my spine from the side here. And this is your cervical, so your neck. Your thoracic is your mid-back, and then your lumbar is your low back. We never want to think about starting our arabesque from our lumbar spine. And this is how you get into those overload patterns. You want to think about lengthening through the top of your head first, then engage with the upper spine to go back. The very last, you're gonna kick in your low back. So let's just do this exercise to work on lifting in our upper spine and getting some more extensibility and mobility out of our thoracic because its natural curve actually goes this way, which is opposite of how we need it to be in arabesque. So we have to fight against that. So we're gonna get a stability ball and with me being pregnant, I'm gonna to have to modify this a little bit for most dancers, I'm gonna tell you to put legs straight behind you. Since I'm pregnant, I'm gonna push myself against the wall here and then open my legs so that there's less pressure on my pregnant belly while I'm on the stability ball. I'm in second trimester, so it's still safe, but when you get to third trimester, I wouldn't recommend this exercise. So what we're gonna work on here is we're gonna start at the bottom. Now, we're gonna gather up and lift and then come back down. Now it's really important here that you do not push your hips forward because then you're gonna be pushing into that low back. I really want you to think of lifting out through the upper back and then coming back down. 
Now, you can do this with your arms in first position, or you can progressively do little tiny lifts here, lifting up through the neck, and back, and back down. Lift up through the neck and the back of arms in arabesque, and back down. The other thing you can do with the ball is if you're not pregnant and you have a stability ball here, you can progressively make this a little bit harder by lying on your stomach, straightening your legs in the back, and then alternating a arm and leg lift while one leg stays down on the floor. I hope this has helped you figure out some things to help develop your arabesque, safer, and things to avoid. So really watch for programs that endorse just stretching constantly of the arabesque because that's not actually going to help you. Remember to subscribe to my channel to always get my newest updates. And if you're interested in further training to get better arabesque, front extensions, side extensions, and better mobility and safety in your dance body, my platform and app will help you through and actually teach you step-by-step -step courses with progress tracking and scheduling to get you better and safer dance technique. Look below and I'll see you next time, dancers.